Hey, Jono here. Thank you for joining me for the Hunter Call of the Wild. To equip a dog, visit the kennel tab of your weapon cache. Read more, shall we? That's what we're here for. The newly released DLC for a bloodhound. The kennel is where you purchase, name, equip and unequip your hunting dogs. You access the kennel via the caches at the outposts and tents. Okay. Let's have a look. A new patch has just been released too, so there might be some other changes we'll take note of. Alright, so I've jumped back in because turned out that I hadn't actually installed the DLC. I thought I had, I had just the patch. And there we go. Now it's here. Before, nothing. So, Kennel. Bloodhound, he's free. Liver and tan full coat. I see. Uh, okay, well, I don't want to name him just yet, but we'll call him Clive. Uh, oh god, I gotta try and remember how buttons work. Clive Barker. There we go. Uh, okay. I, I wanted to actually shuffle through the colours there, but the game just was like, nope, you've you've picked. There you go. But, alright. So he's companion, level 1, 0%, and tracker, level 1, 0%. Uh, oh, maybe I can change him. No, I, I'd need to get a new one. Alright, well, what's with this menu? Uh... Yeah, there we go. It's a bit fiddly. Let's activate. Okay, he sounds like a deer. Have I got him? To unequip a dog, visit the kennel tab of your weapon cache. Okay. Idling. Alright, well where is he? There he is! Ah! Okay, so... I haven't looked terribly close to the news, hello, um, regarding the dogs. Um, I've seen on, on the Hunter's Facebook page, people for ages have been saying, dogs, give us dogs, we want dogs, 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 dogs. And I was like, well, really? To be honest? Why? And then someone made a point of retrieving fowl and that, and it's like, yeah, that's actually a fair point, because I've had a couple times where I've shot a duck or whatever, and it takes ages to reach the shore where I can actually claim it. So, um, I was like, yeah, that'd be fun. Apparently you can't do that with a dog, though. You can track a dog, uh, track a dog, you can track tracks. And I thought, okay, well, we'll have a look. I'm, I'm not... Sold on it. We'll see. Is it worth getting this DLC? So, okay. Stay, lay down, pet, play, and sit. So there's a few things we can do with them. I wish we had this for the weapons, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Showing affection towards your dog will increase its focus regeneration. Let's read that. The bond you have with your dog fluctuates based on how you treat it. A dog that is praised and is having fun doing its job will naturally enjoy doing that job over longer periods of time. So it is both nurturing and smart to take a second to praise, pet and treat your dog. Give your dog a treat by making sure you have treats in your inventory and then selecting treats from the interaction wheel. Okay. A happy dog is a working dog and a working dog is a happy dog. Right. Psychologically, it is best to give the dog attention within a short time span of finishing the task. High bond will give the dog a bonus to focus regeneration. Right. So, let's see. Do we do we buy treats from here? It's looking in the store, just in case it's down the bottom or something. No. So it might be in the kennel. No. Okay. Um. So how do I give you 
a treat. It, it says to make sure you have treats on you. I don't have any treats. I can play with you. There we go, he's a good boy. Oh, nearly said a word there. Okay. So... Alright, is he gonna follow me? I don't know how I... get him to... Ah, oh, okay. So from a distance there's different things, which makes sense. You can't pat him if he's not right by you. You're a good boy, aren't you, Clay Barker? So come here. Alright. I'm gonna look at that again, the the comment about treats. Okay, companions at 33%. Some commands are naturally executed more often. These are called context sensitive commands and we called without entering in the command wheel. So is this trivia gonna slowly come through? If you're within just press down. Okay, you don't have to hold it, which that's good. I can't see anything regarding the treats, so I don't know how I'm meant to give you a treat. So if I come right up to you, just a tap gives you a pat. Cool. But I can't shuffle through. That changes my weapon. Alright, well, anyway, let's go. Let's, let's let's just go out and, and see. This is what I wanted to do, was really just test out the dog. So what I want to do is find just some tracks. A any tracks. And uh, well, let's just see what he does if I select track now. He'll sniff around. Track not found. Okay, cool. Here we go. Here's some tracks. So let's try getting them to, to track here. There's a need zone. I wonder if he'll go for that. Track not found. Alright. I found the track. So now... Now that I found it... Okay, he's alert. Track not found. Okay. So we found the track. Maybe we'll... Let's activate this need zone. For a different red fox. And now we've got a few tracks, so... I'm having a trouble... Searching for blood. Okay, I may have missed that before. So... The track might relate more to an animal that you've wounded. Not necessarily just finding tracks in general, which admittedly is fair enough because they can't just make tracks appear out of nowhere. So what we're going to try next is I'm going to try and wound an animal yeah, what I want to do is find an animal and shoot it, but not to kill. I want to just wound it and see what he does there. Ah, okay. So he's leveled up. If 
I go. Alright. Um, traits. Ah, okay. So he has to reach level 5 before he can do anything. Increases bond. That could actually be quite useful. Distance for a blood clue. High chance of sensing him when an animal is about to be spooked. Okay. Okay, or howl like a wolf. He's better at picking up the scent from smaller blood clues. Dog has a chance to highlight the wounded animal you are tracking. More willing to work, increased focus. High chance to stand close to you. High chance to find fresh droppings. Has a small chance to find the harvest without needing to follow the trail. Chance to ward off predator attacks. All the way at level 30. Okay, so that's... That's his perks. Alright, well this time he found droppings. So, I don't know whether that's because of the level increasing. This time he's searching for blood. He found droppings. Okay, I mean, I'd really need to test um, from about here, say. There's droppings, so they're not immediately close. There's a caribou over there. Let's see what he does. Track not found. So he basically he'll find droppings if you're standing right beside droppings. Uh, th this is what I was kind of worried about. I mean, I don't need him to tell me there are droppings right beside me. But the wind's not really in our favour. Do I have... Yeah, see, I'm not set up for caribou. Alright, just a bunch of females, but we're not really worried. There we go, perfect. So now you run off. Okay, just give me my gun. Now. Track. Track not found. Alright. Track. The track is leveled up. Okay. And this is what I'm interested in. He has, does he have skills under here? No, that's just me. Makes sense you'll be under here, but what's <coughs> tracker level two. Right, searching for blood. Okay, shouting out to me, yep, yep, and either he's found it, or he, no, he's still searching. There it is. And that is the shot landed, it wasn't blood trail. Use track on an examined blood queue to get your blood hand to start tracking that trail. Apparently we are not going to re read anymore. Okay, we're going to... Is it here? No, it should be down... 
down here. But, okay. So, he should start following it. And the animal is down. Okay. But I also want to... The problem, I have to tell him to stay. Let's see what happens with him. I have to tell him to stay so that I can actually go up to him to pet him. They recommend that you do this, but it's kind of hard because unless you tell him to stop, he just constantly moves away. Okay. Yeah, now he'll automatically pet with just a tap down. That's good. But... Follow me. So, okay, they've changed the blood trails thing, uh, automatic, not automatic, but it's immediately worse, <laughs> like, the text runs over itself. And, and this is the thing I was worried about, yeah, you know, I'm following the tracks, I don't need the dog to do this. These other animals, but whatever. What we're gonna do is harvest this one. I believe the second one's down too now. And okay, so he's here. So, what have I given to track now? Searching for blood. Tracking blood. And he's found it. Now he'll call out to me. No. Oh, 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 oh. well, the other one died right there. So that's going to make things a bit tricky. So now I could pat him. Good boy, you found the caribou. Right, so, track. I wasn't planning on the second one dying right beside us, so, but it's interesting to see it's about 30 meters away. Tracking blood, and he's found it. Now if I just Stand here. Oh, actually, no. He's tracking blood. He's gone right past it. To some blood. Let me just step over the dead animal. Okay, and he carries on. Guess this counts as you finding it. Good boy. There we go. Okay, good dog. And now you found Scat. Very fresh. Give you another pet for that, I guess. Good dog. So, yeah, I mean, this is kind of what I was wondering with it. Like, so far, so far Clive Barker here has managed to find things that are right in front of me that I've already found. Uh, it, I, so far, haven't seen any actual value in it. 
Um, I know as you level it up, some of those perks will come in useful. Certainly the perk for going through the tracks and finding the freshest, freshest ones. Um, let's have a look. Was it under here? Yeah. What was it? Uh... No, I thought it was... Maybe it was much earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dog can skip detour tracks in favour of more recent clues. That is the only one of these, to be honest, that sounds hard out useful. Apart from maybe warding off predators. That could be helpful. But. Because there are times when an animal will double back over its tracks. And it becomes a nightmare deciphering where it's gone. So. If he can fix that. That would be useful. Let's see if I can get. This red fox. I don't have a caller for it, so... Probably not. But, yeah, yeah. This this is exactly what I was wondering. It, it seems like he is useful... Maybe if you put the hard yards in... If you put the hard yards in, he might be useful. But for now, I don't see a purpose to him. I mean, I'm standing on top of him and I can't pet him. Didn't even notice you here. Alright, well I was hoping you would run the opposite direction. Probably missed. I really just want him down. He might not even die. I wanted to see. <whistles> this is your moment. What are you gonna do? You're gonna eventually. Yeah, Moose is still not down. So, track. <laughs> Searching for blood. You gonna find anything? You having a good look? Yeah, I don't think it's even going to die from this. So, so far you're having a big search, but you're coming up with nothing. There we go. Any luck? It's a good amount of searching time, I must say. I expected him to give up long ago. Ooh. And it sounds like he found something. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, maybe not. He just wants me to come closer. Right, so now he's tracking it. So, um, I, I mean, level 3 tracking, he might not be as good at doing this at level 1. I'm impressed that he did find the blood. I already knew where it would be. And that's, that's the thing I keep wondering about, is how often am I going to be thinking, oh, I'm really glad I have my bloodhound with me. I have Clyde Barker to... Follow the tracks. 
Um, something took off. It certainly would be useful in times when there is an animal. Okay, the blood animal track wounded animals that you have shot. Be up to you to heal the dog. At the quick moment to avoid spooking the animal again. That's one thing I was actually wondering. So your dog can spook animals. Do you really want that? I kind of had hoped that the game would just make him invisible to to um animals. Sorry, brain crashing. I I thought he kind of like yeah. It's kind of like your flashlight at night. Animals don't see it. I just hoped the dog would be the same. But no, based on that, they can hear and see your dog. So you're basically coming out with something to make you even more visible. Um, yeah, so we're going to leave it there. We're going to we're gonna stop here. That moose ain't dying. I'm not worried about that. That wasn't the point of all this. Uh, it was just ready to get the dog, get him out, trial a few things. Like I said at the beginning, I didn't pay close attention to any videos or anything, so I wasn't sure exactly what they were going to have him do. I just knew he couldn't collect foul um, or anything like that. He just tracks. And that's... That was the concern for me. That was that was the problem I had was, well, how often do you have trouble tracking an animal? Um, I mean, yeah, there's definitely times, like I said, if, if I'd shot this moose and he was with a herd, the tracks can get lost. It's one of the things I really don't like with the game is I always feel that if you're tracking an animal, the game should give priority to those tracks um, but often they're just gone there's some animal that walked through here three hours earlier will show you those tracks over the animal that you're actually hunting and so sometimes you do lose the trail for that reason and I can imagine a bloodhound would be useful at that time to decipher all that the other time is, like I said, if you're tracking an animal and it doubles over its tracks, that can be a nightmare to work through. Maybe your dog can, uh, you know, work its way through that. But otherwise, to be honest, my verdict is... Oh, hello. My verdict is... No. I don't need a dog to tell me that the moose is right here. Because I shot it and put it right here. Um, not to sound cocky or like a dick, but really you should be shooting an animal and it should be dying almost immediately anyway. So you shouldn't have a problem locating it. And that's what I'd wondered about. Come here, dog. See if you can find this moose. Track for me. Hmm, where is it, I wonder? Is it there? You did well. There we go. Good boy. What? Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize it was the same moose. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I looked at that and was like, wait, how did that kill it? But. Alright. It's weird that the first shot. It didn't penetrate. It didn't even hit the lung? The, the bullet didn't? Oh! 
Okay, yeah. That's another thing that's going to get old very quick. Yes, I found the moose. Well, actually, I should say you found it. Um, but yeah, this this is what I was thinking about. So in, to, to summarize, because I'm kind of rambling here. If you're on the fence about getting the DLC for the dog, I would say, un unless you want to actually be out here with a companion, not out on your own, I'd say don't bother. To be honest, I would say out of all the perks it can learn, there might be three things it can do that would be helpful. Uh, yeah, tracking an animal through a herd of tracks, tracking an animal that's doubled over its tracks, and warding off predators, but all of that's a how often does that happen kind of thing. How often are you needing your dog to save you from predators? How often are your tracks lost um, in, in a pack? And it seems the dog is more about uh, following blood trails. So if you're trying to follow a specific set of tracks that are old, Maybe it's a, a weight that you think could be a diamond or something like that. Or you've spotted a diamond but weren't able to shoot it and you want to track it. I don't know how good he'll be at actually following that. So I would say, to be honest, don't bother. Don't bother, to be to be, uh, to be completely honest. Um, it's an interesting idea. It's a nice little novelty, but... Put it this way, after this video I'll be putting him in his kennel and I don't know if I will be bothering to get him out again. As sad as that sounds. Um I just think well most of the time I go out and hunt I either down an animal there and then and because I've done that I know where it is, or I can just follow the tracks because I mean you can open up the map and see the last animal you spotted head there for tracks it's not uh, foolproof there are certainly times when something like this could be useful but whether it works well or not is debatable um, and, and on top of the fact that it can actually spook animals and, and everything like that yeah I would say don't bother um, it's it's a it's a nice idea. Okay, is that because I'm looking at him? Maybe. It's a nice idea, but at the end of the day, I can't retrieve uh, birds, fowl from water or even small game. It'd be kind of cool if you shot a red fox and it could go and bring it to you. That'd be neat. But unless they add that idea in later on, I'd say all it does is follow tracks that you're perfectly capable to find yourself. So yeah, that's my verdict. That's kind of what I expected. But yeah, I was happy to check it out anyway. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, whether the Bloodhound is the best thing to come out of this game in ages or whether it was just a complete waste of time um yeah i see also they've made the text way smaller on the uh, hunter mate so i'll see what other goodies are in store with this patch but yeah that's it that's that's clive barker he did all right uh it, it wasn't the worst he actually did find blood trails from a good distance away so that's you know something but ultimately he's just doing what you're more than capable of doing yourself so that and he pushes you every now and then i'm waiting for the time where i've got my gun in this case a shotgun and i am carefully lining up my shot and he just nudges me out of the way that's all it'll take to put him down but uh, yeah anyway thank you very much for watching and until the next hunt, take it easy.